Good afternoon, kids. It's after one o'clock. Let's get started. We are going to pick up right where we left off this morning. Um, I'm going to be on page 75 in section three. which looks like this. I'm about halfway down the page. Let me just write this out for your late friends. All right, kids, hopefully we are on the correct page. Let's take a look at this number here, 3A. Um, Stray Cat, can you tell me what this number is, please? Three point. One, eight, five. Perfect. All right. Srikat, which number is in the hundredths place? One. No, that's in the tenths place. Three. No, that's in the ones place. Hundredths. Five. <laughs> That's in the thousandths place. There's only one number left. Eight. Eight. All right. Yes. A million points for you. All right, kids, let's make sure we know these. All right. Anything over here that comes before the decimal, this is our friend, the ones place. Yes, we should know the ones place. Then after the decimal, we have the tenths place, the hundredths place. And finally, the thousandth place at the end there. So that being the case, Stray Cat, if I asked you to add one hundredth to this number, what would your answer be? So right, Kat, you still here? Three point one eight five. Yeah, so if you added one hundredth to that, what would your answer be? Hundredth. Hundredth. All right, one hundredth is zero point zero one. This is the hundredths column. All the hundredths go there. Okay, so I'm just adding you to asking you to add one point zero one to this number. What would you end up with? Three point one nine five. All right. Yeah. The only thing that's going to change here, kids, is the number in the hundredths place. All right. Um, let's continue. P. Rick, how you doing? Good. Good. All right. Can you tell me which number is in the thousandths place? 
still on letter A here. Three. No, three is in the ones place. Oh, five. All right, five is in the thousandth place with the TH on the end. So, P. Rick, if I asked you to add uh, one thousandth, what would your answer be? One thousandth is 0 0.001. So, we're just adding that. So, P. Rick, if we add 1,000 to 3.185, what are we going to get? You will get 3.186. All right. The only thing that we're changing is the thousands, kid. kids. All right. So... Let's do one more. Vitu, what number is in the tenths place? Uh, one. One, okay. And if I asked you to add two tenths to this number, what would your answer be? 3.385. All right. So I'm asking him to add 0 0.2 to this number. I asked him to add two tenths. So yes, the only thing that's going to change here is our number in the tenths spot. We should end up with, uh, I'm sorry, 3.385. Okay, that's the only thing that's going to change. And make sure Teacher? when you're adding these up, kids, uh, you just want to line up the decimals, okay? Because if you don't line up the decimals, Teacher? you will end up with bad answers. Yes, Mina Hill. Teacher, we write all of this down? Nope. You don't need to write any of this down. Mina Hill, you okay. want to try letter B for us, please? What's this number here? Me? Yes, you are the only Mina Hill I have. Um, this number is six. Point eight nine two. Yeah. All right. So Mina Hill, which number is in the thousandths place? Two. Two. All right. So if I asked you to add three thousandths, what would you get? I'm just asking you um, to add 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0.005. No, no, three. Uh -huh. Let's try that one more time. I'm oh. asking you to add three thousandths. So what would your answer be? 6.825. Mm, I'm not so sure about that. The only thing that should change here is the thousandths place. Yes, uh, uh, 6.895. There you go, 6.895. All right, just making sure. And let's see. Thierry, you want to help us out here? Which number is in the hundredths place? in letter B? Nine. Nine. All right. So if I ask you to add one hundredth, what number are you going to end up with? You're going to have to change the tenths place as well. 6.900. 6 
All right, 6.90. We don't wanna change this to either. All right, make sure we have a two on the end there. Yeah, we're if we add uh, one hundredth here, this nine changes to a 10, but we need to put that in the tenths place and add the one, but the two should stay the same. All right, kids. All right, let us see. How about Jupiter? Can you help us out with letter C? What's this number, sir? 1.947. All right, and if I asked you to add one tenth, what would you get? One tenth, I think yeah. I would get a, I'd change that one to a two. Okay. And then the, oh no, the, the nine would go to a, a one. No, you're just adding one tenth. So nine and one is 10. So this should be oh, okay. zero. And you're just putting zero. the other one up there. But yes, 2.0. 2.0, and then I think the four seven should stay the same. All right, yes, you are correct. Then it would be 2.047. All right, um, Rosa, are you here? Yes. Good. Which number in letter C is in the hundredths place? Four. Four, all right. So if I ask you to subtract three hundredths, what number will you end up with? Subtract with three hundredths. Mm -hmm. hundredths. Subtract. Subtract with the TH on hundredths, yes. One point nine one seven. All right, one point nine one seven. All right, kids, I think we got the hang of this, hopefully. All right, let's keep going. Um, all right, let's look at number one here. This says, arrange the following decimals in order to create a number pattern. Um, Joden, which of these four decimals is the smallest? Um, teacher, we write this down? Sure, you can if you want to. 1.2. That's the smallest decimal? Yes. All right, let's make sure we understand. Kids, when you're comparing decimals, let's look at the numbers on the left first, okay? These are the highest value decimals, okay? So, uh, Joden, two of these decimals have zeros here, all right? So these are going to be your smallest decimals. This has one one, this also has one one. So out of 0 0.8 and 0 0.4, which one is the smallest? Um, 0 0.8. 0 0.8, okay. All right, 0 0.4 is my smallest number here. So I'm gonna put that first at the beginning of my pattern here, all right. Um, Teacher, if we don't want to write it, then what? All right, you keep asking me. I said, no, you don't have to write it down. And then you asked me again, and I said, sure. If you want to write it down, go for it. And now you're saying. No, teacher, my network is like really slow. I cannot hear you. OK, like well, slowly. just don't write it down then if you don't feel like it. I'm just making sure we're all listening. All right. 
So we have 0 0.4. That should be our smallest number. All right. Um, Roth, what is our next smallest number? Um. <laughs> Roth, are you here? All right, Kim John, what is our next smallest number after 0 0.4? 0 0.8. All right, 0 0.8. And next, zero, All right, 1.2. Hold, hold on. Let's give your friends a chance to answer. All right, 1.2, which means that our greatest number here is 1.6. All right, Vitu, do you notice a pattern forming? No. No, these numbers don't look familiar to you. Four and eight, 1.2, 1.6. Like if you pretend the decimal point is not even there, what multiplication table does this look like? Do you check on your... I don't. I'm just asking you, what uh, what pattern do you see here? Whoopsie, let me uh, clear. Does this look like any of the multiplication tables we've learned? Yeah. Does it look like? Yeah. Um. Mm, yes. It's not like fraction. Well, it's not fractions. Does it look like any of the multiplication tables? Oh, uh, yes. Yes. What, what yes. does it look like? The all time multiplication. All time. All right. So. That being said, Vitu, what is our number pattern? We are adding how much? Yes, it should look like the four multiplication tables, but we're not adding four. We're adding how much here? Adding, adding four? All right, yeah, we're, we're adding four tenths, okay? We're adding 0 0.4 every time here. I'm adding 0 0.4. So instead of adding 4, I'm adding 0 0.4. So it goes uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.8, 1.2, 1.6, 1 1.2. What number is going to come next? 0 0.8. After, after 1.6, what comes next? Uh, 20.0. All right, not 20.0, but 2.0. 2 2.0. We can also just refer to 2.0 as just 2, okay? 2.0 is equal to 2. But if we're following our pattern here, what happens, uh, Halin, if I add another 4 tenths? If I add Whoopsie. Holland, if I add another four tenths here, what number am I going to get after 2.0? Point 2.4. All right, 2.4. Just making sure we're all paying attention, kids. All right. Let's look at, oopsie. Let's look at letter A here. Mm -hmm. 
Roth, are you here? I'm here. Yay, all right, you made it. Let's look at all of these numbers here. In letter A, we have 0 0.3, 1 1.2, 0 0.9, and 0 0.6. Which is the smallest? 1.2. That's the smallest number? Yeah. Really? Mm, Not any of these numbers that not, start with zero? Not sure. All right. Well, let's take a look at the numbers on the left. I got zero, zero, a one, and a zero. So which one is bigger, one or zero? One. One. All right. So 1.2 cannot be the smallest. Let's look at 0 0.3, 0 0.9, and 0 0.6. Which one uh, is 0 the 0.3 is the smallest. All right. 0 0.3 is the smallest. What's the next smallest? The next one is 0 0.6. Okay, and then? And 0 0.9. All right. Our and 1.2. 1.2 is the greatest number here. All right, Roth, does this look like any of our multiplication tables to you? Um, yeah. What does it look like? Three. All right, yeah, it should look like the three multiplication tables. All right, so that being said, what, how much are we adding? What's our pattern here going from 0 0.3 to 0 0.6 to 0 0.9 to 1.2? At three, at three. We're not adding three, we're adding 0 0.3, yeah? All right. At 0 0.3. Yeah, we're adding three tenths or 0 0.3. So that if that's the case, Roth, if I add another 0 0.3, what number comes next? Okay, in this pattern? Let me count three. Roth, you're not Roth, are you still with me? Oh man, he faded out. All right. Joden, what number comes next if I add another 0 0.3? Hmm, I'm not sure what keeps happening. All right, Terry, what number comes next? We are just adding zero point three. I think I after 1.2, what comes next? We're just adding 0 0.3 every time. Hmm, what do you think, Kim John? What comes next? I know you told me. Yes, teacher. What number comes next in this pattern? If we add 0 0.3 to this. Um, 1.5. All right. 1.5. And if you know your three multiplication tables, you can just keep going with this pattern, okay? Three, six, nine, 12, 15, except now we have a decimal point in here. Instead of 15, I have 1.5. All right. Um, Bitu, what number would come after 1.5? Five with O. You're on mute, buddy. 
1.8. There you go. All right, 1.8. All right. So let's keep going. Um, let's go down to this next page. Oh, we already did this page this morning. All right, let's switch over to part four. I'm sorry, section four, which should also be pink. All right, and we are going to be on page 57. Let me find that for you. All right, do we all have this page? Section four, page 57. All right, and we're still working on comparing and ordering decimals, okay? Just make sure when you're looking at decimals, you wanna start on the left side here because these numbers are worth more than the numbers on the right-hand side. So um, let's just look at this one. Number one says, which is greater, 0 0.45 or 0 0.48, okay? So if we look at our ones column, we got a couple of zeros, yeah? So that doesn't really tell us anything. They are both equal. Then I move to my next leftmost place, which is the tenths place. And we have 0.4 and 0.4 here. So this is 4 tenths and 4 tenths. So that's equal as well. Then I move on to the next place. Now I have 5 hundredths and 8 hundredths. So which is bigger, okay? Well, obviously 8 is bigger than five. So if we are looking at this, which one's gonna be bigger? Um, Domi, which one of these numbers is bigger, is greater, sorry. 0 0.48. All right. And yes, we can see that um, the tenths are equal. The hundredths are not equal. We have eight hundredths in 0 0.48. All right, so let's all go ahead and mark this uh, 0 0.48 is greater than 0 0.45, all right? All right, next, number two. Dappy set, are you here? Yes, cha. Hey, your microphone works. All right. This one, number two says, which is smaller? 3.6 or 3.57? Which is the smaller, cha? Yeah, which is smaller? Mm -hmm. So remember to start from the left here, okay? Yes. So the threes are both equal. That doesn't really tell us anything. So let's look at the tenths place. We've got six tenths over here and five tenths over here. Uh, three set, three set is the smaller. Which is which is bigger, six tenths or five tenths? Mm, six tenths. All right, six tenths is bigger. So that being the case, three point five seven should be smaller. Okay, these numbers over here don't matter so much. We want to start with the ones on the left side. All right, let's look at this. Three and three are equal, but then right here in our tenths place, we have six tenths and five tenths, okay? This tells me that 3.6 is bigger than 3.57, so our answer should say we want the smaller number. 3.57 is smaller than 3.6, right? All right, kids. So yeah, three point five seven is smaller than three point six. 
All right, let's keep going, kids. I'm on page 58. All right, so here they want you to first put, all right, kids, remember to keep yourself on mute. All right, let's just look at these numbers. We have 41.2 and 41.17. So first we want to just put the tens, ones, tenths, and hundredths all where they need to go, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. Um, and let's start with 41.2. Piriak, how many tens are in 41.2? Eric, are you here, sir? All right, Kid Kid, how many tens are in 41.2? One. How many tens are in 41.2? Which number is in the tens place? One. No, one is in the ones column. Two. Two is in the tenths place. I'm asking you for the tens with the S at the end here. Four. Four. Okay, yes, we have four tens. Four times ten is 40. Okay, that's where we're getting that from. And Mina Hill, which number is in the ones place? Mina Hill, are you here? Yes. All right, which number is in the ones place? One. One. All right. And Rosa, which number is in the tenths place? Tenths with the T H S at the end. Two. Two. Thank you. All right. So make sure all your decimal points line up, kids. All right. And let's keep going. Visal, are you here? Hmm. All right, Thierry, are you still here? Yes. Yay. All right, let's look at 41.17. Which number is in the tens place? Tens with an S. Four. Four. All right. I've got four times 10. That's why it's 40 something. And Kim John, what number is in the ones place? What? What number is in the ones place? In um, one. Place? One. All right. Dappy set. Which number is in the tenths place? Oh, I don't know what happened to him. Tell me which number is in the tenths place. Wait, what? Ah, oh, one. One, thank you. And Roth, what number is in the hundredths place? In the hands, what place is um, two and um, seven? Seven, okay. Two is not in this number. All right, so that being the case, we always want to start 
Let me get a nice red pen here. All right, we always start over on the left-hand side with whatever this number may be, okay? Because these numbers are worth more than the other ones, okay? These are higher place values. These are tens. All right, so we've got four and four. Those are equal. All right, then I've got my ones. Those are also equal. Those are at one. I've got four tens and one one in each of these numbers. All right, then I have the tenths. These are different, all right? Two tenths is more than one tenth, all right? Therefore, uh, 41.2 is greater than 41.17, all right? So what should our answer be? Our answer says, which is smaller? All right, so that being the case, um, hey Rick, are you here? All right, Vitu, which one is smaller? Four one one seven is smaller than one a four one two a four point two. All right, let's make sure we remember how to say this number. This number is, is 4, 41, one, no, no, 41 point one seven. 41.17. Perfect. All right, yeah, remember anything over here, we can just say 41. But when we get on the right side of your decimal, these are just one seven. All right, so yes, 41.17 is smaller than... 41.2, all right. Why? Because it has more tenths, all right? The hundredths don't even matter. All right, moving on, number three. Number three says, which is smaller? All right, so now I do not even have a tens place. I just start with the ones here. So once again, um, we have in our first number, I have six ones. My decimal point, I have zero tenths. I have seven hundredths and eight thousandths. All right. And then in my second number, 6.708, I have six ones again. My decimal place, this time I have seven tenths, zero hundredths, and eight thousandths. All right, so that being the case, which one of these numbers is smaller? What do you think, Mina Hill? Once again, we're starting from the left um, over here. Our ones are equal. Let's look at the tenths here. Uh -huh. Uh, um, okay, 6.078 is smaller than 6.708. Perfect. All right, yes, 6 point, oh, we're going to cut off, 6.078 is smaller than 6.708. Whoopsie. 